today uh, I'm going to take just a little time and do a project that uh, we've been putting off a little bit or I have. We're down at the uh, cattle shed at Hoop Barn and on our road frontage here we uh, put in a temporary fence uh, between all the gates because that's where all the water and electrical lines ran and everything. We wanted to give them all plenty of time to make sure everything was going to work like it should for a year or two before we put in more of a permanent fence. So uh, we took out the stretch so it's a good time to kind of show you uh, what we're doing. As you can see I've already run a, a line here that's that's my my line to go off of and I've started to set posts. Uh, I want to show you kind of how I do that. I use this piece of pipe and on this piece of pipe is, is a post level if you look at this post level here, you'll see there's a bubble floating around in there. And when I put this piece of pipe over the post, then I get it so it's where the two bubbles are directly one underneath one another, and it's straight in every direction. I don't know that it's really that big of a deal, but I hate a crooked post. So that's the way I do it. On a big project, there would be two of us here doing this, so I wouldn't. I'd have somebody doing it kind of for me. So it's targeting around the right distance from our wire. The bubbles start to wind up. Set it a little bit. A foot. Set it a little more. Check and see what happens. look good. That post had started straight. Contacts the ground, contacts the bottom of the bucket, all the posts in will be the same exact height. So uh, let's get to pushing posts. Check our level one more time. Maybe put a little what they call professional adjustment on it. Get it good straight. That one's done.
where this one is, I just simply can't get to it. So this one's going to have to be old school. Well, as you can, can see here, we've got the fence project completed. Uh, we used uh, high tensile smooth wire here for a couple of reasons. Uh, it's easy to work with. Uh, another uh, reason that we would use it would be, this is only a stretch of about 80 feet, something like that. So if you was to stretch barbed wire across here, there's just no way to hold a short stretch like this it invariably uh, gets looser over the course of time. Whereas if this loosens up a little bit, each wire has its own individual ratchet uh, that we can take up and uh, retension it so that it's a proper, proper uh, tightness. Uh, you might wonder how come we even bothered to fence around the hoop barn at all since the cattle are in the, in the barn all the time. But uh, there's just a very few certainties in the uh, cattle and livestock business, but one of those is that if it can happen, sooner or later it will happen. So we know that eventually we're gonna have an escapee. So uh, we got it fenced off so that uh, if that does happen, uh, we kind of keep them contained because we're only about, oh, maybe two, two and a half miles from the little community uh, that we uh, do most of our business in and downtown there is just straight that away. So, uh, we sure wouldn't want something to get out and, and find it on the main street down there. So uh, uh, this project is complete. <laughs>